Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about access control list. Access control is used to allow the interesting traffic is used for filter the traffic. Suppose uh, user one want to access the uh, services of FTP. So this we will apply ACL here on router two, uh, which will allow only user one to access the services of uh, FTP and uh, deny user to uh, access the services of uh, FTP but uh, user 2 can access the telnet services but user 1 can't use the uh, services of uh, telnet so this is the access control list where we uh, allow specific user to access specific services so first of all i have configured all the ip address on uh, routers and uh, switches as well and secondly i have uh, configured the ospf on routers on all the routers so all are uh, uh, connected to each other so you can check the connectivity so if i ping 192.168 uh, this interface this ip address 4.2 4.2 so you can see that the ping is coming it means that i have configured ospf routing protocol and uh, ip address to all interface so you can also display current configuration so you can do it yourself so you we will not do it on right now so i have configured ospf on this router user one and secondly i make this ftp as a part of uh, vlan 4 and uh, port link is a trunk link and port pvid is vlan 4 and also this telnet uh, server is a part of uh, vlan uh, 5 uh, so now we will proceed toward the configuration of uh, acl for uh, ACL so there are number of ACL for basic ACL where we allow the all the network to access some specific server and there are some uh, other ACL which is called advanced ACL which has a number from 3000 to 3999 the basic ACL number is uh, 2000 to 2999 now you can configure basic ACL on source side of router but advanced SPL on destination side of router suppose this is the user and this is the destination to access so you, we will uh, configure advanced ACL on this site so now uh, first of all we enable the uh, FTP server on switch you can enable ST FTP server on switch and on router as well or separately use the FTP server from here this is the server of FTP so you can also use this server but now we will use the server on uh, switch so first of all we enable the ftp server on switch so how to enable ftp server so firstly you name the i have already named name the ftp server so just uh, ftp server enable first command is enable the ftp server and uh, for uh, using FTP we have uh, some configuration of triple A in our previous video we did the configuration how to configure triple A on switches and routers so you can see go and watch the videos in this video for FTP we use create a local user in triple A so local user Huawei local username is Huawei and the password for this user in, in cipher Huawei123 so you can see I have created so what this user can use so this user can access the services of uh, ftp so command is local user huawei sorry huawei huawei and the service type is service type is if you question mark so you can see the services like ftp http app so we allow this user to access ftp and also to allow this user as the privilege level of huawei huawei and the privilege level of three privilege level of three which is the management level how many level it can use that uh, service so it's the level is level three and from where from what dictionary of FTP it can uh, extract the file and get the file so you can also give uh, some specific dictionary from the FTP server from where this user can uh, get this file so the command is local user Huawei 
and FTP dictionary. So you can give the, the name of dictionary. I, I am giving the name flash slash. So you can see from flash drive it uh, take the files. So configuration is done for FTP on switch. Now we proceed toward the telnet configuration. For telnet configuration, first of all, uh, go in system view, enable the telnet server. So command is telnet server enable enable and uh, user interface user interface vt by the virtual interface for telnet the remote access protocol protocol inbound all it means that on inbound it will use the telnet and the authentication mode is password and the set password set authentication password cipher and the password is huawei123 now we configure the telnet server on this switch and ftp server on this way now we will use uh, access control list now we configure access control list on this router to allow these user user one to access the services of ftp and user two to access the services of telnet so how to configure so as i told earlier that uh, for advanced acl you do the configuration on destination side for advanced acl the number is from 3000 to 3999 so if you put the command acl sorry acl and the number of that acl 3000 i am giving the beginning of that number 3000 so now you can observe that on router 2 acl is advanced acl due to this number it recognizes that this is the advanced acl now there are the command to set the parameters so the first rule of this acl is rule 5 so rule 5 these are the number so you can uh, write this number as a multiple of 5 5 10 so up to any number any rule you can set on a specific acl like in 3000 you can set any number as the multiple of 5 5 10 15 20 as much as you can so so rule 5 is a permit we are permitting FTCP user TCP source which what is the source source is user 1 this is the source so we are permitting this source its IP address is 192.168.2.2 and the 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 this is this mean that 0 dot is the perfect match only this IP if you write here 255 it means that 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 is a perfect match of this network and for this it means that it can vary from 0 to 255 all ho uh, host uh, which are included in this 2.0's network so we are not allowing all the network parts but only this specific ip so that's why we are writing 0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 and now the destination so destination ip address is 192 which is we are allowing the destination for this user is the FTP server so FTP server have the IP address of 4.2 so we write the destination IP address 192.168.4.2 and also the perfect match from this side and the destination port destination port range because you can you you know that the for FTP we have the two ports uh, one port is the 20 and other is the 21 so we'll select the range here 20 and 21 so now we configure the FTP for uh, this source now we configure an other rule for uh, this user rule for this user as uh, rule 10 because the rules are increasing as a multiple of 5 rule 10 permit TCP user, TCP source, sorry, TCP source, source IP address is 192.168 and 3.2 as you can see 3.2 and perfect match 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and the destination is a destination is 192.168 the IP address of the telnet server because we are allowing this user to access telnet server so IP address is 5.2 here I configure so 192.168.5.2 and the perfect match for destination 
0.0.0.0 and the destination port is 23 23 is the port for the telnet server so you can see sorry destination port equivalent equivalent to 23 so you can see so now we apply an other rule so permit ospf so it will permit the ospf for the routing so we have another rule 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 15 and permit ospf so it will permit the ospf and the last rule is a rule 10 rule 20 sorry rule 20 deny deny any ip other than these two users so ip source any so it will deny any ip to come on this side this router uh, deny any ip to come on this side only allow these two ips uh, which we write in commands other than it will deny all the so we'll quit now we configure the ospf now we go in on this interface of uh, router where we uh, introduce the check system where this interface inbound interface check the mechanism to allow the packet or not which packet to allow and which packet to drop so we go in this interface 0.0.0.2 interface gigabit ethernet 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.2 and then we will have a command of traffic filter traffic filter traffic traffic filter sorry traffic filter inbound inbound all inbound sorry inbound ACL 300 so what we configure in ACL 300 we configure some configuration in ACL 300 that allow this source and uh, uh, deny any other source so on this interface uh, when the packet come other than these two sources this will check so on this interface i have to apply the acl 3000 so uh, this router will apply 3000 so these two only these two user will be allowed to access these services so this will allow these two users so now i we have configured the uh, acl on router now we go and try to ping the acl or ftp server so for this user we have allowed the ftp services so we have a command ftp uh, 192.168.4.2 4.2 so you can see that uh, we have a user and password we set the user and password in triple a in ftp server so we'll give the username and password username was huawei and the password was huawei123 huawei123 so you can see that we are in ftp server so user one using ftp service is user can if you type control quit so you are come out of the uh, ftp so if now check that uh, this user can access telnet services or not so we will choose the telnet command 192.168.5.2 which is the ip address of telnet server so it will keep trying it will not access because uh, this router will not allow this user to access telnet services so it will keep trying but this user will access telnet services telnet 192.168.5.2 so you can see that uh, it quickly access that interface of uh, the telnet server so we have a password huawei 123 for this now you can sorry we type the wrong password so just wait for a minute huawei 123 so now you can see that we are in telnet server so you can see the interface of this quit telnet server so from this we can access the telnet server so now we can change change the some configuration and whatever we want as a privilege level of three so from this from this interface can be access if you quit you go back in user 2 and now we'll try to uh, access the uh, ftp 192.168.4.2 sorry 4.2 192.168.4.2 so it will keep trying 
it will not access because uh, this is this user is not allowed to access active server this user cannot you see that error comes that can't connect to remote host but this user can only access the ftp service so you can see that huawei and huawei 123 so we are in ftp so that's all about acl that's how acl work so if you have any question regarding acl you can ask in comment so thank you if you like the video please subscribe